Hi friends, I'm Mansoor Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about uh, SQL Server data components and we'll see how data is stored in SQL Server. So SQL Server database is a combination of different data files and components. Okay, so here we'll see how data is stored in database and we'll discuss uh, its components. So basically uh, there are three types of files which completes a database. Okay. So I'll show you. Uh, so if you, uh, this is your database. In database, uh, this is your data file uh, with file extension as uh, m.mdf. Then you have log file. Then you have data file. Okay. Then you have extent inside data file. And this extent is made up of pages. So we'll see it. Okay, so this basically uh, this data file. Uh, this is called a primary data file. You can also call master data file or dot mdf. Then this is your uh, secondary data file, also called a non-primary data file or a dot ndf file. Then your transaction log file, also called log data file or ldf. Okay, so. In primary data file uh, when you create a database at that time primary data file is created this primary data file is used uh, during a startup of the database and is linked to uh, other files one primary data file is associated with only one database which contains uh, database objects like tables stored procedures functions views indexes etc default extension for uh, primary data file is .mdf but uh, if you want you can choose your own file extension also during database creation step because .mdf extension is not compulsory but it is recommended recommended for primary data file okay so uh, this is your uh, .mdf file Okay, secondary data file is similar uh, to master data file, which also contains database objects like tables, stored procedures, functions, views and indexes, etc. But this data file is optional and it is uh, created by users when one data file is full. One can also create secondary data file to boost, uh, to boost the performance by spreading data files across different disk drives. It is also called non-primary data file and a recommended file extension is a dot ndf but you can choose your own file extension also. Okay, in transaction log file, this is log file. So transaction log file is uh, required to recover the database at the time of failure and to minimize the data loss. With every database, one log file is associated uh, which keeps record of all transactions. Uh, log files are very important and is uh, and used in high availability and disaster recovery scenarios like log shipping replication database mirroring etc when you perform any data manipulation operation okay data pages are fetched into memory this data page okay so data uh, data uh, pages are fetched into memory and it is modified as per uh, query requests uh, so, so in this operation some dirty pages are created which are uh, written to transaction log and during background process uh, uh, this uh, which is called a checksum okay checksum is a background process uh, when this checksum runs okay background process runs the dirty pages are written to database files so whatever data is available in database it is uh, written on uh, on the file pages of 8 KB size so uh, the size of this page is 8 KB uh, this 8 KB is shared between uh, header information and data these pages are sequentially arranged and to uh, process these pages database engine requires page number and file ID associated with each page each page keeps related uh, single database objects only so when eight contiguous pages are groups together it is called extent okay so eight pages uh, it makes uh, one extent so this extent is uh, used to manage and organize data pages in database 
so I'll show you one example by creating one database okay this is my uh, SQL Server Management Studio so I have written one query to create a database so I'll create database books info okay on primary file group is primary by default I have taken then your uh, name logical uh, name file name okay books info dot MDF this is master data file I have given size then maximum size and file growth okay then I have created one NDF file also okay secondary data file uh, so this is logical name your physical name size max size and file growth now you have log okay so on this path C drive database okay I have created log file also so this is just for demonstration purpose in real environment uh, your master data file uh, may be on different drive okay and your uh, secondary data file may be on different uh, disk drive and log uh, data file on different drives so I will show you one example okay I'll just create this database execute okay I'll refresh this database node box info so I'll go to this path C drive database this is my C drive database you can see master data file log file okay dot ldf and ndf secondary data file is created okay so this was the structure of how data is uh, available in a SQL server you can uh, go through uh, uh, this article on my website SQL Server log.com I have written this article how data is stored in SQL Server and mm, this is a given primary data file secondary data file transaction log file and other data file pages and extent all these details are available you can go through it and if you like my channel you can subscribe to uh, YouTube okay you can join me on Facebook and you can uh, subscribe to newsletter if you have any query okay then you can scroll down and you can leave a reply. Thank you.